all, this is Dawn with TwiceYearCheap.com and today I wanted to talk to you a little bit about photography. So I'm going to show you my photography setup, the things that I use to photograph yarn and stitch markers and all that jazz. So here we go. This is my photography setup. It's right here next to my desk and is in the beautiful bay window in my bedroom. And as you can see, I'm using the window for my main light source, just the window. I've got my lovely boom stand that I got off of Amazon. So a boom stand is a tripod, but it has a horizontal bar that can go so that your picture can be directly flat above what you're recording. Um, so you can see that I can set my camera here and it holds it directly above what I'm photographing, which is really nice. This doohickey right here is my cell phone adapter. So if I wasn't recording with my cell phone, I could show you and it just slides in here like so. And then you can use that to photograph or I can take it off and use just the silver adapter to um, attach my DSLR. Down below, you can see I've got a single sheet of plain clear glass. And this just came out of a frame. And I use this because I like the little bit of depth that it adds underneath my subject. Um, particularly if I'm photographing stitch markers or something a little bit shiny, it makes a really nice kind of reflection right here next to the subject. Um, or I can take the glass out and just photograph directly on the whiteboard. And speaking of whiteboards, I have three whiteboards. I have one that my subject sits on, one that's behind it, and one that is opposite the window. Now, why do I have three whiteboards? In photography, they tell you that you should have a reflector. Usually, I always thought that that meant that you need some kind of foil, something or other, like those shades that you put in a, in a window in your car to keep the sun out. But actually, a white board acts as a fantastic reflector. So my setup is pretty simplistic here. You don't need a lot of fancy things to, to take good photographs. Maybe if you're photographing a lot at night, you may need some extra additional lighting. So you notice on my desk here, my very dirty desk, I've got those small lamps. They've got daylight bulbs in them, which means that they are a white or a, yeah, a white colored light. They're not yellowish. And so I'll add those in sometimes if I need a little bit of extra light. But usually if I photograph any time during the day, where um, I have enough light. Even when it is cloudy outside and rainy outside, I seem to have enough light in this window as long as I use my white reflectors. And the white reflectors are better than any aluminum foil coated whatever that you decide that you may want. And they're just like three bucks a piece. I mean, really, they're three bucks. You can get the cheaper ones at the dollar store that are just a dollar but I would opt for the more expensive ones. The paper on them is a little bit thicker and that means they're a truer white. They don't um, discolor. So you want nice, true white backgrounds. If you wanna use a different colored background, you can place that in where I put my clear glass on that whiteboard on the bottom and it'll look stunning and gorgeous and give it a try. I would love to see your new fantastic photographs. We'll see you next time. Bye.